Hey everyone, my name is Dono Glass and you are on the Tea with D. Uh, just a quick rundown, I am a second year psychology and theater double major. I am the current historian for the <laughs> Resident Hall Association. I am also your host for the Tea with D and the editor-in-chief of The Resident. Awesomeness, so let's get into it. So for this week, the Tea, we're going to start out with identity. You get it? Identity. Awesomeness. So, as you guys know, sexuality and gender uh, is something that people know about but don't really know about. So, most people will know about gay, straight, uh, bisexual, or they'll know about male, female, transgender. But did you know that psychology has found that these are not the only labels? Labels are actually on a continuum. So, you, one minute you can like a male, and the next minute you can like a male and like a female. It's just on a continuum at all times. You don't always have to condemn yourself to one label. So psychology has found that people also add labels. For instance, the LGBTQIA Resource Center is constantly appealing to different types of people. So in the name it says LGBTQIA and then it says plus. The plus stands for when psychology has added more than one label that is not already there. So just instead of adding onto the name and making it LGBTQIAZB and whatever else, we just add the plus so it appeals to everybody. If you do identify as one of these or something that is added, we encourage you to please go to the LGBTQIA plus resource center. They always have some great people there that can help you out, that can talk to you and make you feel more welcome, more secure about whatever your, your problems you're going through. And if you just want to make friends, then definitely go there. Also, we are actually going to be partnering with them soon to do their drag show. It's going to be awesome. We have local drag queens and kings coming through. It is a big event. It has always been big and it's going to be even bigger this year because RHA is a part of it. So be looking out for those dates. So next, we have Colin Kaepernick. This is interesting. So Colin Kaepernick is this MFL player. He has been condemned for kneeling in, during the national anthem. If you've been watching the game this past Sunday, you have noticed that he is not the only one that has kneeled. And our own president, Donald Trump, has talked about kneeling in the U NFL and how he does not think they should still have jobs. To tell you guys a quick rundown of it, the kneeling is not to disrespect the United States nor disrespect the flag. The kneeling is to protest the injustice that is going on within the United States and within America. America is a melting pot that has always been a melting pot. We have had people of all demographics, of all race, of all genders, of all size, of everything. They have come here to feel at home, to feel wanted, to feel loved. And we are having injustice within the United States at this point that is making it hard for everybody to feel comfortable. So this is a way that people are protesting to show that every life matters, but we need to focus on the ones that are being affected at this moment. Next on the T, I know midterms are coming up. Midterms are crucial in life. Midterms are what's going to keep you from failing, getting that nice degree that UGA is going to help you get. There's one thing to remember when going into a midterm. Studying is important, but the main thing to remember is to stay relaxed. Relaxation is really important when you're about to take a test, do a midterm, or just in regular life. Especially during midterms, we all get stressed, we all start studying, we cram before a test, don't sleep. That is not the case. You need to sleep, you need to eat, and if you need to take a second and breathe. I know myself personally, I do so many things within this university that sometimes I have to tell my advisors, I need a break. I need to take this day off. I can't come to practice. I need to rest. I need to sleep. For a guy who works from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. every single day, I need to take a break. And when I have that 9 a.m. class and I don't go, I feel bad. So taking a break, taking some sleep, taking a time just to breathe is also going to work wonders when you're taking a test or just anything that you do in life. So that concludes the tea, guys. And if you have tea, please email it to me. Please uh, talk to anybody and you can we will put it on the show for you.
All right, so now we have upcoming events. So for this week and the next, we have the RHS, the Resident Hall Studios. They are awesome people. They are the ones who actually do this show. They have an interest meeting and general body meetings on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in Creswell TV Lounge. If you want to write, produce, uh, just be involved, just watch, you can always show up. You do not have to have any interest. They are always welcome to uh, invite anybody in. And they have food. Everybody loves food, especially Chick-fil-A. So, they also have a premiere coming up this week sometime. So just be looking out for those dates. You would be able to watch it on the 12.1 channel. And I'll blog about it on The Resident so everybody knows. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for that. Next, we have Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yours truly is the star of the show. I play Dr. Frankenfurter. That is going to be October 19th through the 23rd. It is going to be in Tate Theater. If you do not like nudity sex, or anything that is against your nature, do not come. This is a show of provocative everything. It's just wrong. Everything's wrong. But you should come see it. It's really fun. Just have an open mind. It's always fun. Uh, next, we have Nightmare on the Green. That is an event put on by RHA, which is going to be next Thursday. It is going to be awesome. You guys are going to come and see a movie. The movie is a secret, so we can't tell you. But it's going to be so much fun. You'll have popcorn. You'll have candy. You also will have the health center inside that will have tablings and different items going on in case you don't like scary movies. But I advise you guys to come out. I also advise you guys to dress up. Okay, I'll be dressed up in some type of something, you know. But I want you guys to dress up. I want you guys to do something. Just show your support. Just show up. It's free. Free, free, free. Free is always fun. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching The Tea with D. And I want you guys to tune in next week. I want you to stay smart, stay wild, and stay safe.